the hour before sunrise and then the time of sunrise and then the hour before sunset and then before the actual sunset are the golden hours that um, people refer to as the best times of day for taking photos and doing that sort of thing. As a kid, we used to love to take pictures, especially when I was a teenager. I remember where I live is very picturesque. So I remember going with uh, friends for walks and I would always bring a camera with me and take all these crazy pictures. After high school, I had no idea what I wanted to do. And in the back of my mind, I always thought I might be interested in photography. Um, but it wasn't until about a year or two ago, probably in the, like, the last year and a half, um, I think COVID actually, having a lot of downtime was what helped me sort of figure out where I wanted to be going with my life. Um, so then I took three months of classes with Tony Downer um, right here in Greenfield, and he was very helpful. And he even, as I mentioned, lent me his own camera to use for a while. I woke up one morning and that's what I was saying, where I live is just so picturesque. I just look out the window and, and I noticed that it was very foggy on this particular morning and it was um, around sunrise. Gosh, I can't even remember when the sun rises in the winter time, but um, with the trees I have in my background and the sky and all the mist, it just all comes together so nicely. You can see the little touch of pink on the bottom there. and this is one of the photos I took on my old smartphone of her and I just looked and the moment was right, the lighting was perfect and she had her head out the window so I just snapped a picture of her and it's one of my favorites actually that I have. Oh, as far as technology and equipment goes, it is very, very basic. Like I said, I was using my smartphone, and one of the things uh, Tony Downer had mentioned is that you can be a photographer just using your phone. It's just a matter of how you use it. Um, and so for a while, I was using my phone, and actually one of the photos in the gallery was on um, a phone I had three years ago. So that is just says a lot about uh, technology these days. Other than just my camera and occasionally a tripod, I try to use natural lighting. And that is one thing I want to get into down the road is using more equipment and becoming more familiar with it and you know, um, learning more about photography just in general. But it's very basic, very simple and straightforward. The sun, the sunlight is what I use for lighting. <laughs> goal actually is to have a studio in my own home um, and where I live is so picturesque I could take pictures of people outside as well I have a lot of options where I live <laughs>